on the woman on trial for hiding the body of her three-year-old stepson after his death. Today, we are hearing from the boy's father. Local 10's Hatzel Vela has been monitoring the trial and joins us live from the courthouse with more. Hatzel. Nicole, remember, this is the father who was arrested himself in connection to the death of this child. Today, we did hear from them, and for the first time, we get a sense of just how much he was involved when it came to the caring of this child. She called me and said that my son was missing. On the stand, Nelson Osceola, little Hasaya's father, who told prosecutors his wife at the time was his son's primary caretaker. Who would put the children to bed? Annalise. Who would change their clothes into pajamas? Annalise. It is day four of the trial against Annalise Osceola, the stepmother charged with manslaughter and lying to police over the death of her three-year-old stepson, Asaya. I have seen other child deaths, but nothing like this one. Like this one. Earlier in the day, we heard from a Hollywood police detective who interviewed the boy's stepmother the day his body was found after she reported him missing from their home. The child's clothing was removed, revealing the bruising, the injuries that were just he was covered in. In that interview with police, Osceola admitted to hiding the child's body after he passed. Did she make any attempt to provide medical attention to the child, regardless of whether or not he would have lived, to As your knowledge? Overall. Overall. No, she did not. What's not known is who is responsible for those injuries, as there were several individuals living in the house. The jury will have to decide if Osceola bears blame, given that she was with him most of the time. He was a happy little fellow. He played with the activities with other kids. And so that was the child's preschool teacher who talked about his personality. Tomorrow, we're expecting to hear from the medical examiner and possibly we should get closing arguments on both sides. For now, reporting live from Fort Lauderdale, I'm Hatsovella, Local 10 News. Okay, Hatsovella, thanks.